Welcome back everybody to another episode of Catching California. I'm your host Chris and uh, we're gonna start off this week's episode with uh, fly fishing. As you can tell, I have my uh, Idaho is so fly shirt, uh, courtesy of my in-laws up there in Boise, which is known for uh, some amazing uh, fly fishing up there in Idaho, which I need to check out soon. Um, now, I headed up to Lake Balboa, which is in Van Nuys, just north of LA, with my buddy Joe, and we were uh, going after, you know, the, the numbers, because Balboa is not really known for its huge fish, or at least huge bass, um, but it's known, it's got a lot of fun small fish that you can go after. It is also known for uh, its carp. Now there's a very healthy population of carp there and it's pretty wide open so you know you don't have to worry about snags and it's very popular with uh, people going after those carp. Um, of course though I was skunked and uh, I could not let that stand so I broke out my fly rod to give it a go and of course on the main lake uh, I was also skunked there because this fly setup is super dusty. It is, uh, at least not the rod, the rod's probably fine. Uh, it's a eagle claw five to six weight, seven foot rod. But my line and my reel are back from when I had no idea what I was doing with fly fishing. And um, the reel came off a beginner's uh, combo setup from Dick's. So I need to step up my game a little or at least just redo the setup and make sure it's done right. So I found a small pool below the lake at Balboa and full of carp. Yeah, carp in a pond or pool that's maybe as big as my little kitchen area right here. And so I was furiously trying to go after these carp. As you can see, they wanted nothing to do with my fly because it was probably not the right fly for the job. I was changing flies. I had an ever shrinking uh, tippet or leader. I mean, that shows you just how much, I don't know about fly fishing yet, but I will. Um, and I was able to hook and then, but land only, hook two, but land one. And that one was my first bass. It was a little bass, but it's still a lot of fun to hook it on fly and uh, check it out. I really have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm hoping I just snag them. Or something little again. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, first bass on a fly. There we go. All right, everybody. I don't have my uh, big camera here, but hopefully you can hear me. I just got myself my first little bass on a fly. And uh, as you can see, it's in this tiny little pool where there's tons of carp, tons of carp, right behind that waterfall. So pretty good spot, finally got one. Here's to the fly. So that was definitely a lot of fun, getting in there, close quarters, going after those carp. Of course not getting any, but definitely hooking that little bass was a lot of fun and a nice little first. So I had the fly fishing itch. I had to get out there and uh, get me some more fish on fly. And I thought, what a better place than uh, Echo Park, actually. You know, it's got a lot of flats. You know, you can do a bunch of sight fishing. It's got great populations of bluegill, sunfish, and, you know, small baby bass that would love, you know, to just hammer the fly. So while over there, I got myself this nice little sunfish. Um, of course, messed up on the recording, but it's still a lot of fun. You know, my buddy Joe and I kept, you know, prowling the lake, looking for uh, good spots to do some uh, micro fishing. He brought along, you know, his ultralight setup. But 
we spotted some bedding bass and uh, I just couldn't resist and wanted to go after these bass. You know, I found this small male on a bed in a flat in a spot where I found other bed fish in the past. And uh, I then also found um, a larger male on a bass, uh, on a bed <laughs> over in another flat where I haven't seen many fish. So it was a lot of fun. This first small bass that I was talking about on the bed, I was targeting with a, uh, I tried, you know, the little Z-Man uh, micro jigs, micro finesse jigs. You know, here. I threw small drop shots at it. Wasn't really interested. And of course the turtles were going nuts at it. But I ended up throwing in a, a little underspin by Cool Baits. And I think I threw on it a um, Big Bites Baits, a uh, little swim bait, a uh, little paddle tail swim bait and that was able to do the trick. Now while checking out some of the uh, structure in the lake, which is always a great thing to do when it's uh, really sunny out and you got clear water, um, I was able to just kind of walk around the lake and look, you know, at the bottom, look for structure and cover that, you know, uh, in the evening or in the mornings or on an overcast day you wouldn't really see. And right at this little platform was a, you know, a small concrete ledge uh, that we saw some fish kind of sitting up on and then they would scurry back down into, you know, big rock piles that also had, you know, had trash in it, of course, but also had what looked like, you know, a Christmas tree that had been thrown in there. Um, so cover that I didn't know was there and that fish are obviously going to be holding to. And so I just had to throw in a little drop shot rig. I had uh, one of my uh, light spinning gear setups for, you know, for bluegill with a small like number 10 hook on drop shot. But I ended up throwing on the uh, Z-Man's uh, trick shot, which I really love because they're so stretchy. And since I had number 10 hooks on, they're so small. I mean, even a little too small for these, I could just go through, you know, through this little nose, but I know since it's so durable, it's, it's gonna take it. It's not gonna come off in like one cast. So I really like that. And that ended up doing the trick on uh, this little dink right here. Look at this, you can see all the structure right here. I would throw your little uh, ultralight or something right down here because I just saw some decent sized bluegill. Right where I am. Straight down. Look at that tiniest hook too. The hook's so tiny I, I couldn't, I had to put it barely through the bait. Oh my God, that's so tiny. I can't even get a, a handle on the hook to get it out. I got some, there we go. Stick with me, buddy. Oh, 
There we go. Nice little bass. So now with the larger of the two bedding bass, this one was a struggle as it can be with bed fishing. You know, you can work them for hours. Um, but I started out working it with, uh, I tried it with the drop shot, tried it with the uh, little uh, Z-Man trick shot and he just didn't care at all. Um, and then I ended up throwing uh, a jig. I ended up throwing, I mean, this isn't the exact jig, but it, it was the uh, Game Changer Trash Master, Game Changer Lures Trash Master jig, uh, which I really like for uh, throwing an Echo and in a lot of places because of the, uh, the fully weedless setup, um, you know, switching from spots where I don't really need the weedless to flipping it into heavy cover around those pads is great and not having to change bait. So I threw on that and I had a couple of uh, couple of just investigatory, investigatory little nibbles, um, but nothing really uh, too aggressive. So I threw on the uh, Storm right here. Let's see if that'll focus. Yeah, that is the Storm Wild Eye uh, Sunfish, and I saw on uh, Tactical Bassin's uh, bed fishing video that these, over and over again, they said these are actually a great bait, uh, great for the money because they're so cheap, and great because it's got that bluegill profile, but it's small enough that you know most fish can get around it. You're not throwing in some big, you know, bluegill swim bait like the one I lost and lost that nine pounder on. Um, the key is to just take off that bottom treble hook because uh, it'll just snag up way less. Um, so I threw that one in there and I ended up hooking it, trying to get it in, but of course my drag wasn't set all the way perfectly. So while trying to adjust it, the fish took me right into some pads and I lost it. And so I was just furious after dealing with some backlash that I had earlier and some the fly fishing trouble and then losing that fish, I was just ready to snap my rods in half and throw them in the water. We've all had those days. I was furious. So I had to walk away, cool off, and then come back for a little revenge. So I again threw, on, threw out him the, uh, the sunfish, and this time he didn't really want it. Um, so I went back to the Trash Master. Now the one I had was the PB&J, I think it was a 3 8 ounce, and paired up with a Green Pumpkin Bandito Bug by Guggenbaits. Um, and that ended up doing the trick. I was able to horse him in, check it out. Yes, and I just dropped my rod in there. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. So between Balboa and Echo, with some fly fishing and some bed fishing in there. All in all, a good couple of trips out and a lot of fun. You know, I definitely have the itch to get some more fish on fly and uh, really clean up my fly fishing act. So uh, I definitely wanna get back to uh, Echo Park to try some more fly fishing and just go there straight for, just go with one fly rod and that's it. And we'll see if I'm able to do that, if I see some bass swimming around. And uh, also go back to that pool at uh, Balboa. I wanna catch some of those carp for sure. And just still some of those micro fish. They're still a lot of fun. Um, and 
I want to get out to some more spots and show you guys around. Uh, that includes checking out the LA River, which I know to most people in LA is a little cesspit that runs through our city, but there are some stretches that hold healthy carp populations and are, could be a lot of fun on fly and on light tackle. So we will hopefully be looking forward to that and heading out to spots like Leg Lake and like Pyramid and Castella, like I mentioned before. So, you know, be sure to stick with me. If you like the content, you know, subscribe, like my videos and uh, check me out on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram handle is Catch California. And, you know, just get out there and fish yourself. Get yourself some tight lines and have a good time. Take care.